guys, we're getting ready to put this new set of injectors into the TDI TJ here. Uh, it's got, I believe they're called a Power Plus nozzle in there now. It's like a 0.214 injector. And we're going to go ahead and bump it up to these two 4.0s. Should put this thing close to 200 horsepower now so that should be pretty fun uh, obviously it's a little dirty here hunting season so we've been up and down the roads after some snow but anyway if you're watching this and doing it in a car it's definitely a little easier but with the engine in here I can actually sit in the engine bay and work on it so then it's not too bad so not too many tools needed um, there's an 11 16 wrench for the injector lines, a 15 millimeter to be able to wiggle the injectors back and forth, and let's see, a 13 millimeter to take the injector hold down bolts off. And then I'll also be using a socket and a hammer to seat the injectors when we put them back on, and obviously a torque wrench if you want to torque the injector hold down bolts down but that's about it other than a bunch of rags because it's definitely a messy job the injection pump likes to leak the whole time you're you're doing it so anyway we'll we'll jump into it here i have seen where people have had a ton of issues getting the injectors out if you can see there's a lot of corrosion on your head already you definitely might need to look at a slide hammer contraption to be able to get those out. But for me, all of mine have been very easy. Just wiggling them back and forth, you can pull them out with your hands. And these weren't replaced that long ago, so they should come out very well. But definitely go ahead and clean your head ahead of time if there's any dirt or anything else in the way there. You want to keep those ports clean. So yeah, but we'll jump into it and get started here.
All right, so we got the injectors out here, and I don't really have a recommended way to clean those ports out, but you definitely want to get in there and just get every bit of dirt out you can, or any any flex of anything in there that'll mess up that seal with the new copper O-ring. And I've I've hooked a vacuum cleaner up to a hose before that'll fit down in there to try to suck everything out with and try to do that and then maybe use a little bit of brake cleaner. You got to be careful though. You don't want to fill the cylinder full though. You'll definitely have some issues there. I had a little bit of an valve cover gasket leak here. You can see I've got black residue there, but I fixed it and just haven't had time to clean the whole engine off yet. But anyway, so my ports are looking pretty clean here, so...
leave them all cracked just a little bit and try press some of that air out of the lines and then go ahead and turn it over until you start to see fuel coming out of all of them. So we got it running here. It's idling pretty smooth. Um, definitely make sure your battery's charged there. I just barely had enough to get it going. It does take a lot of cranking once you let all that air out of the line. So yeah, give yourself some room there. But the next step, or probably about the last step, once you get this all going is go ahead and pull up VCDS and see what your injection IQ is at. If you have the full VCDS here, you can actually change it a little bit by changing these values. Um, this one right here, it looks like it's at about 5.2. I think I had it closer to 4 whenever I was doing the other injectors. So it definitely changes some, especially when you change injector sizes. And then you can also go into your measuring blocks here. It's not a really definite check but you can actually look at what the computer thinks all the injectors are reading at I can't remember which one it is here there we go you can see that it's showing that from I guess how the engines running it thinks the injectors are right about there which is all nice really close to zero so other than that yeah, usually when you change injector sizes, you're going to need a new tune. And so I had actually already put the tune in for these injectors, so we should be good to go here. But that is all I'll put in this video as far as putting new injectors in your ALH TDI. That's about the, the process. Thanks for watching, guys.